Suicide Squad. Oh, that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. Suicide Squad, finally. It's here. Written and directed by David Ayer, the guy that did Fury and also End of Watch. Suicide Squad is a movie about a bunch of Batman villains that are brought together to go on super secret missions for the government. They're doing these missions that nobody else wants to do. They're, they're a team put together to take out big threats, you know, just in case like an evil Superman shows up or something. Let's talk about some of the characters. In the comics, Amanda Waller is a big mean lady. She's a, she's a boss ass bitch. And Viola Davis was perfect as her in Suicide Squad. She was awesome. I loved her. She's kind of got that I don't give a fuck face. We've got our first live action look at Harley Quinn played by Margot Robbie. And uh, I thought she was fantastic. I thought she did a really great job as Harley Quinn. I've been a Harley Quinn fan since, uh, since probably 1992. So that would make me a Harley Quinn hipster. And uh, I'm calling it now. Lots of girls are going to be Harley Quinn fans all of a sudden. And they're going to be... Dressing up as Harley Quinn for Halloween. Just just throwing that out there. Margot Robbie had the look of Harley Quinn down. The voice would go from an exaggerated Brooklyn accent like the animated series to something not quite so ridiculous, just depending on what was going on. They also gave her some of the best lines. She was awesome. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with Harley Quinn in some future DC Universe movies. If you're going to see Suicide Squad for the Joker, you're probably going to be disappointed. Jared Leto, he was fine as the Joker, as his gangster boss, cokehead, kind of a uh, hot topic looking dude. Very modern take on the Joker, but he was just, he was just barely in the movie. Honestly, the rest of the Suicide Squad didn't get a whole lot of love. Jai Courtney, he was uh, surprisingly good as Captain Boomerang, and Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flagg, he was, uh, he was good. I liked him. There just wasn't a whole lot of character development going on. I enjoyed the dynamic, I liked the team chemistry, but if there had been more scenes like the one in the trailer where they're just sitting around at a bar BS and that would have helped the movie a lot. It would have helped flesh out these characters more. There's a lot of things to like about Suicide Squad. It starts off with great energy, it's looser and more fun and not quite so super serious. Like Man of Steel or Batman v Superman, it's also fun to see some of these lesser known DC characters get some love. But man, Suicide Squad is choppy as fuck. It's got some shitty editing, it's got uneven pacing, it's got plot holes, it's just all over the place. The writing is pretty bad too. You've got characters in almost every scene that are just straight up doing exposition and telling you exactly what is happening at all times like you're some sort of a dumbass that can't figure it out on your own. The villain, I uh, don't really know what the motivation was there and uh, the big beam of light in the sky, can we, can we get any more cliche than that? It's been done over and over and over again. Movies, you're done. We're cutting you off. You've done it too many times. No more big beam of light in the sky for you. Uh-uh, no more. The cast is great, the team is fun and exciting, but I just wish they were a part of a better movie. Hopefully Suicide Squad 2 or whatever they end up calling it won't be quite as messy as this one. If you're a fan of DC or you just like comic book movies, you should still check out Suicide Squad, but honestly, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty disappointing movie for me. So in the end, I'm giving Suicide Squad a six out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of Suicide Squad? If you've seen it, tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and um... See you, bye.